Um, if you change the weight of thrusters, thrusters, um, they have more thrust, basically. So ten is a good weight. See, it goes much faster now. Um, but if we don't want it slamming into us all the time, we can have the multiplier um, check if the distance is greater than, say, 200. So we need a comparison greater than and a constant value of 200. And we also want the button to still work, so we're going to do use a gate logic and all. So, line this up. Checking if A, oops, sorry about that, A, to the distance. B goes to that. So right now I'm not farther away than 200. But over here, hold on. Yeah, see, greater than. So that's when it's going to turn on. And then A goes to here, B goes to the button. And the multiply goes to the and all. Alright, so we'll have to turn the button on. And once we're past 200, it turns on. So that doesn't slam into us. Um, this project is good for lots of things. You can have it tow stuff behind you in a little cart. You can put a saw blade on it and have it go kill other people. Um, it's up to you, really. But I hope this helped teach you something about vectors and hoverballs, I suppose. Um, email your tutorial requests to me. You'll see my email at the bottom of the screen. And I'll... See you in my next tutorial.